Hello and welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt and today's video is going to be just me exploring my website analytics, which I use Plausible to track. Um, so Plausible is a Google Analytics alternative and I was thinking about writing a video about this, but I just kind of thought it would be more useful to just kind of walk you through the interface and show you how it works. So this is going to be a no frills, maybe even no edits video, um, but in the next like 10, 15 minutes, we'll just kind of explore together and see how Plausible works so you can get an idea whether it would work for you. So um, Plausible, let's take a look at my dashboard. So uh, this is my Plausible Analytics dashboard, and you can see my analytics for my personal site, birchtree.me. Um, there's currently zero visitors on it. Before I started recording, there were like five people there, so a little disappointing that <laughs> there's zero while I'm actually recording, but that's fine. Um, and basically, this shows me a chart of the last 30 days, uh, and I can see a chart for unique visitors, total page views, bounce rate, visit duration, that sort of thing. Um, I leave it on page views. Typically, it will remember between page loads, so if I reload, it remembers where I, I was. Hey, I'm up to one visitor. Awesome. Um, but I can uh, go ahead and change the range that I'm looking at. I could look at just the last seven days. Um, you can see that there's uh, keyboard shortcuts for all these. Uh, so I could do D to see just today's traffic. I could do R to see real time uh, traffic, right? Um, let's go back to, oh, I forget them. Um, they're kind of hard to remember. Let's do Y. So here's my whole year of traffic on Birchtree. So this is 2022. And you can kind of see month by month, here's what they are. Um, and you can see unique visitors, total page views, bounce, like all those, all those things. Um, so those are all here. You can download the state as a CSV if you'd like as well. And then you can go down here and see some more information. So top sources, who is sending traffic to your website? Uh, so you will be able to see that here. You can see I get basically all of my traffic from Google. People are searching things, they're asking questions, and I'm one of the Google results. Uh, DuckDuckGo, Twitter, when I tweet things, YouTube, probably from you find people. Uh, Bing and then some other places like this. I can see the details so I can see like how many, um, how long they stayed, what their bounce rate was, right? So, like people, um, looks like 87, 89. So search engines are the highest bounce, bounce rate. Um, Yandex, 98% bounce rate, geez. Um, those are the highest because they just, they aren't looking for a blog, they're looking for uh, an answer to a question or how to do something, whatever. Um, Anyway, you're not here to learn about my site. Um, you're here to see what, what Plausible does. Um, they also have this campaigns thing. Uh, so you can, if you do like those uh, little tags at the end of your um, URL, you can see like where they came from. So I only have a few. These aren't really, people don't usually add these to me. Um, yeah, like I, I don't even know what these are. But if I was doing some sort of campaign where I wanted to add uh, a tag to it, I could use these to track how many people were coming um, from those tags. Uh, top pages are what pages get the most hits on my site. Um, you can see my top uh, post, which has been my top post for years, is what happens, and I'll just go to it in a new tab. What happens when you try to charge your iPhone wired and wirelessly at the same time? I wrote this right after the iPhone got char uh, wireless charging in 2017. That's almost five years ago now. And the answer is nothing, like it doesn't change anything. But this post, every single year gets a shocking number of hits. So if you're a writer, just know that a lot of your hits are gonna come from one or two things. Um, this one is also another one I didn't really think much of. I basically just cropped the Windows 11 wallpapers, the default wallpapers to work on your phone, look nice. This gets tons of hits, weird. Um, the homepage and then some other things, but yeah, so uh, kind of the, you can see the details there as well. Uh, so you can see raw numbers, page views, bounce rate, time on the site, right? 97% of people who see this one leave right away. I don't blame them. It's not a great article. It's not a great thing, but it was a question people had at the time and I answered it and they're still apparently asking it. So yeah, wild. Um, entry pages. So these, these are the pages, like what's the first page a user went to? Exit pages It's what is what's the last page they were on when they left. Um, so yeah, you can see kind of the same things for those, uh, with countries, you can see all the countries like people are visiting you from. I'm a heavily U S centric, uh, site. Although I think if we go to countries, you'll see, yeah, there we go. United States and then UK, India, all these countries down here, uh, regions goes down, breaks it down to States, uh, in the U S as well. Um, some maybe, uh, uh, like provinces or elsewhere around the world. Um, you can see more people from England visit than people from California, if, the more you know, uh, and then biggest cities. 
Uh, what's also interesting is I can see uh, that even though the United States is by far the most popular country for people to come from, uh, to the most common country people who visit my site come from is the United States. It's still only a third of my total traffic. So a uh, good thing to remember, even though I'm writing for a U.S. audience and assume they're that, two thirds of people visiting the site are coming from elsewhere in the world, which is just an interesting thing to remember. Um, devices, uh, what sort of device, mobile, desktop, laptop, tablet, what browser are they using? Safari and Chrome pretty much split the difference. Um, and if we go to OS, we'll see this difference is probably due to more iOS users than Android users. Um, yeah, iOS is my number one, Mac number two, Android, Windows, and then iPad way down here. iPad barely beating Linux. Come on, although Linux is 666, which is just perfect because I do not enjoy Linux. <laughs> um, Chrome OS, Ubuntu, Fedora, yeah. Um, so yeah, so here's kind of the just, that's the data you get to see. Um, you can also see that I'm tracking more than one website with Plausible. So I'm not only tracking my personal blog, I'm also tracking Quick Bin Lookup, which is a bin lookup site that I created years ago at this point, I think in 2017, 2018, to just look up credit card bin numbers. Um, and it's been pretty successful actually. So if I go to like Google and do uh, bin lookup, which is what a lot of people do, I'm the top result here. And so I get a good amount of Google traffic. Um, as again, evidenced by this Google Bing, I assume these are people just using the default search engine on their work computer. Um, there's only one website on, or well, only one page on the site. Um, I guess I could go to it. How about that? I'll just go to it. Um, and so basically, yeah, if you need to like know some information about a credit card, type it in, search, there you go. You could like, uh, if you wanna like copy the bank name, copy it, you can then paste that into whatever you want. Again, you're not here to learn about my websites, um, but <laughs> if you, uh, um, you may want to know, actually, let me go back to that. Um, how did I get plausible on here? So, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm tracking both of these. It's all kind of the same information. Um, like again, more current visitors this is much more popular than my blog itself. Um, if I view the source, um, yeah, so I put it right here. Uh, here's the script, which basically says, here's my quick bin lookup domain. And here's the link to the plausible analytics JavaScript file that loads and does the tracking on the site, right? And if I go to um, my, yeah, so I was looking at this earlier to make sure I knew what was up. This is my ghost site. So my birchtree.me site runs on ghost uh, and under code injection, you can see I can put stuff in the header and that's right here. Um, same link to the same JavaScript file, but this one's for birchtree.me. And that difference is how you know, um, how it knows to track for QuickBin or for birchtree. But anyway, um, so you can track multiple sites. You could add another one if you want. Uh, if we go to view all, you could add another website. As far as I know, you can track as many websites as you'd like. It's all about page views. Um, so I guess before I go into um, some more of the details, I can go to my account settings. Um, and you can basically see it is a paid service. So I'm currently paying 22 bucks a month, which is pretty significant. I might actually drop this. I might go back to Google Analytics. I'm not sure. I like this because I really just want to know how many people are visiting the site and I'd rather not use Google if I don't have to because I know people have issues with Google. It's not so much I have an issue with Google. I know my readers are more likely to have an issue with Google. But anyway, um, this is maybe more money than I want to spend on this. This is more money than I spend on hosting and everything. Like this is the most expensive part of running these websites, which is not maybe ideal. Um, but I'm paying for 200,000 views per month. Um, and as you can see across the two sites, I'm getting 115,000 views per month. So um, I was going just a little bit over it for a while. And then they kind of emailed and said, hey, you, you need to upgrade your plan. Otherwise, we're going to cut you off. Um, so you can see the pricing here. Um, yeah, again, I'm on the 200,000 a month. I'm not sure why it's $22 for me. I'll have to check that. But this is basically the monthly page views and how much you're paying for each. Uh, yearly billing is here. So I could actually save some money by doing committing to a year of plausible. I just, I'm just not I'm not committed to plausible yet to say I'm going to pay for a year up front. But anyway, so that's the pricing. Um, you can update your billing info and all that good stuff. But yeah, so let's go back to here and then we'll go into Birchtree. So let's look into some of the settings you can do here. So to do that, you want to go here and then go to site settings. So these are for Birchtree specifically. Uh, if I'd have to go to the quick bin page and then select from there. Uh, to get those settings, but you can see my domain is here. I can change my time zone for reporting. So that just makes the graphs show like it in my local time zone. So it makes more sense to me. Here's the JavaScript that I pasted onto both of those sites. I can get it here. 
uh, people. You can add more users if you'd like. So I can add, um, I just give it an email and then I can choose they're an admin or a viewer. Admins can make changes and invite more people. Viewers can just view the analytics. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now because it's just me. Uh, visibility, uh, so this is kind of cool. Um, so you can make your entire analytics dashboard public. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here and I'm going to copy this link and then open an incognito window. I'm just gonna paste it and there you go. So I'm not signed in, I'm in incognito mode. Um, I've got the login button here, but I can still see everything. And so just know when you share this, it's everything. You can see real time data. Uh, you can see all the reports. Let me, let's look at all time data for the, my site, right? Like here's everything that's ever happened. Here's all that same granularity. Um, I can download the report. So it is just making the page public. Be aware of that. Um, but you can do that if you'd like. Um, so I'm just going to leave that turned on. If you want to visit this, go ahead, go crazy. Um, shared links. Um, I can share your stats privately by generating a link. Um, and then I can add password security to it. So yeah, so uh, name the link and then give it a password if I'd like. Um, I'm not gonna do that, but it would ask you to do a password. Um, I can do an embed of the dashboard. So it looks like I can embed the HTML um, that would put this on another website. So that's kind of cool if you wanna make like a dashboard for people um, or like let them view your analytics somewhere else. Uh, goals, I actually haven't played with these. So what is the goal trigger? Custom event. Uh, event name or a page view so they get to a page oh this isn't really for me um this i guess is like if i have like a shopping cart i'd like be able to put the cart like receipt page or something here i don't really need that for my my sites uh search console okay so this is if you use google analytics one thing that's really nice about that is it'll show you what people searched to find your site which could be useful information if you're trying to create content that people are searching for right um, it doesn't show you that by default in, um, in plausible, but, uh, if we kind of like open this to like, see the docs, basically you can do a connect, you can connect a Google account and a plausible account to get that information. If you'd like, I'm not going to do that, but effectively that would give you that sort of information. I think they show like a screenshot at some point. Um, yeah, they're showing you how to do it, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, so uh, you'll be able to see in plausible, you'll be able to see what people are searching to get to your site. It might be useful, it might not, I don't really care um, because it's just a little hobby thing for me. Um, email reports. So you can have plausible email you on a regular basis uh, with information about your account, right? Um, so you can do a weekly report every Monday. I don't use that, I just do the monthly report, uh, which I actually have a screenshot of right here. And basically, yeah, it shows you this month compared to the previous month um, and some basic info and what pages did well. Kind of wish it would show you the page titles here, but anyway. Um, and then you could click here to log in. So that's the email that you get. Looks like it comes 9 a.m. Central, uh, U.S. Central every month. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, what you get if you go ahead and subscribe to those. Um, you can add multiple recipients if you'd like. And then traffic spike notifications. This is a nice one. So this is real time visitors. So I have it uh, set up to email me when more than 50 people at a time are on my site. Uh, and that's because if that's true, something crazy has happened. Something, some really big website has linked to me. And that's when I kind of want to get online and like just monitor things, make sure the site doesn't go down, make sure everything's okay make sure I'm not getting just ripped apart by someone else online. Um, and this is angry traffic, not happy traffic. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I actually haven't had this happen in quite a while, so I don't have an example to show you, but um, yeah, there's a current visitor, visitor threshold. Um, let me set it to 20 actually. Probably won't hit that anytime soon anyway. Um, it's pretty low traffic, but yeah, so there's that. You can set up notification emails and there's danger zone, which is just, you can reset the stats. I don't know why you would do that, but you can, I guess. Um, and you can delete uh, your stats entirely for this site. So that's the bulk of it. So I'll go back to the stats. Um, yeah, that's the bulk of what Plausible Analytics does. Um, there is a whole bunch of documentation you can read um, right here. So you can kind of read more up on it. I actually haven't done any of this at all, um, but I've been using it for a while and think I have a good idea for how everything works. So hopefully this was helpful. But yeah, that's how Plausible Analytics works. Um, again, not a sponsor or anything, just a thing that I wanted to share 
and thought you guys would find interesting. Um, I'd love to hear if you liked this uh, kind of more lo-fi <laughs> video format uh, compared to the more edited thing that I typically do. Um, if you did, drop a like down below. That helps me know that, uh, that you guys liked it and appreciated it. And yeah, I'll put a link to Plausible Analytics as well as I may throw a link to my own analytics page in there so you can check it out and laugh at the mild traffic that I get. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.